1987 Mercedes 190E. It's a two litre petrol manual, this one on the manual gearbox. As you'll see, we've done it a bit differently this time. We've got it running already because uh, it needs a booster pack on to start it up. And it does take uh, quite, a, quite a few revolutions to get a fire. fire um, get my words out. Sounds like that when you try and start it. It does take a few revolutions to get it fired up uh, on a cold start. So it's got something wrong with a cold start issue there. But apart from that, we're going to fire it straight into life now. So we can see that's running, ticking over nice and happy. Right, we're going to start off and do the bodywork now. Bodywork Y signal red, this one. A few little marks. It wants to polish in places. It's got a few little bird poo marks here and there, but no major corrosion like that on the bonnet itself. All nice and straight across the bonnet. Headlights are crystal clear on both sides. There's no cracking in there or moisture. Grill's nice and tidy as well with a few little bits. You can see you've got a chrome uh, thin mist in there and a little bit of a crack out the bottom half on the right hand side. But the corner's all okay with the light scuff to the lower half of the plastic on the left hand side there. We're across the front bumper, all okay there. And we've got a scuff on the right hand side on the bumper corner itself. Body width wise, it looks to be fairly straight. This one, as you come around the arch, there's no corrosion coming through, which you'd see uh, a mile off from these 190s, all nice and tidy around the arch itself. Across the lower half of the sill section, all nice and red, you'll see there's a rub strip missing off the lower half of the door there. But all nice and tidy, a good polish will just transform this one. Nice and tidy across the roof there, with a few bits of lacquer peel towards the front edge of the sunroof there. But no corrosion around the sunroof itself, but we have got some lacquer peel across the front edge of the roof and across the sunroof itself there. Windbreak cap is uncracked on both sides. Driver's door's all nice and tidy, so we'll work onto the driver's rear door. You'll see we've got a few little faded bits of the paint, but apart from that, it's all nice and red there. A little bit of pink in places. We've got the rear arch, nothing at the front, all nice and solid. But as you come to the back there where the mud guard's been, we've got a little bit of corrosion starting at the rear of the arch on the right hand side. No heavy wear around the fuel filler cap though. On to the rear bumper corner now on the right hand side. You'll see we have got a quite a good scuff on the corner of the bump on the right hand side. The rear lights are all crack free once again. And again, left hand side, a little bit of a scuff on the left hand side of the bumper. As you come across the lights, all nice and tidy across the tailgate there. Good wash and polish would transform it. And lovely and straight across the, the actual boot lid itself with a few little bird poo marks here and there. It wants a new clip on the side from there. I just keep clipping itself. Rear quarter on the left hand side, nice and tidy. Quite solid, it's an old 190. Around the arch, lovely and tidy around the arch. No corrosion there, no rust, no signs of any paint wear. And lovely and straight down the whole left hand side, all the way down the body works nice and tidy. Across the lower half of the sill section, all still nice and factory red. And nice and tidy across the lower half of the doors on the left hand side. Left hand side rear passenger door, around the handle, around the back edge, all nice and tidy. Coming forward onto the left hand side front again, nice and tidy, nice and there. Clean across the rear edge there. As you come forward onto the passenger front wing, this is where we have got some corrosion to the paint side. You'll see there, a bit of corrosion there, and some more corrosion across the front wing on that left hand side. Onto the interior now, we've got the dark grey uh, cloth. Door card itself seems to be okay. Got a granite missing where the wire is, it's on electric windows. The seat itself has got some tearing to the left hand side on the seat there, which you can't see. That's the driver's seat. We've got some wear to the bolster and some staining on the insert of it there. Dashboard got a little bit of a crack on the right hand side, but apart from that, looks to be okay. All nice and standard down there. With a little bit of wear around the gauges to the leather of the dashboard there. It's only showing 81,626 miles, so that's good buying as well for 190. They're normally doing well over by 100,000 by now. Door card's nice and tidy on the rear. Uh, uh, rear drivers and the seats want a good good steam clean in the rear seats there that folds down as it should with the black carpet set no rips or tears into the boot again it wants a good deep clean in the boot there a little bit of moisture in there as well on the left hand side front again door cards no rips or tears a little bit flaking off the back which is pretty standard on these 190s and the seat itself apart from wanting a good clean no rips or tears again from the left hand side on to the front now Front passenger front door card there, nice and tidy on the door card warrants, a little bit of a clean, but that's all. And the seat itself, no rips or tears, but it has got some staining to the seat. There's been dust built up there, headlining nice and clean from the left hand side. Now you have a 1987 Mercedes 190 2 litre petrol, 5 speed manual that one. 